Shalom, like to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. You know, my name's Connor Walk from Great Millstone, Toronto. Doing another lesson. Um, been a little while, been, you know, doing a little one, two, you know. But now, um, you know, I'm going to get back to it, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> consistent videos every week, man. But, um, you know, a lot of things been going on in the news. Um, with the whole hurricane situation, Hurricane uh, Harvey, now Hurricane um, Irma, you know, what um, caused, you know, it caused a lot of destruction, man, in the Caribbean, man, you know, amongst the islands. Now it's heading, um, it's making its way to uh, the shores of America, man, you know, and um, Jacob, um, our people right now, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans, the Mosai is uh, bringing judgment upon his people, man. Uh, because what did the Mosai say? He's going to begin at his sanctuary first. You know, um, you get it, Ezekiel uh, 9, man, because uh, our people is not taking heed <coughs> unto the Heavenly Father. And it's prophesied that they were going to be rebellious, you know? So, um, as a result, the Mosai, uh, he already condemn them to judgment man you know just get the point said um uh, ezekiel 9 and 4 and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in Mitzrayim, that mark in the Hebrew is Tawa, which means uh, exempt from judgment. When you look it up on here on the blue letter, or if you look up that word, it's gonna say Tawa, which means exempt from judgment. So the one third and the elect, they're gonna be exempt from the judgment of, um, you know, what's coming upon this place as what or what's been happening upon this place and um, you know the ultimate judgment what's going to come is that is the nuclear destruction man which which is going to destroy america and uh so america is going to be destroyed forever but as well as uh, it's going to bring destruction upon other places in the world you know and many people is going to die you know and from that destruction the kingdom of israel is going to be set back up and uh, the children of Israel is coming back into rulership, man. But the uh, elect and the one third first, you know. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. And how are the men sighing and crying? The brothers out there who is uh, on the highways and byways uploading videos, you know, doing sit downs and so on, you know. For you brothers who's uh, just learning the truth. You know, watching the videos, taking heed, you know, and that sign in their spirit, man, every day, man, of, um, you know, seeing all the afflictions, what we're going through, the abominations, man, you know, women ruling over men, you know, Esau uh, poisoning us through the food, the air, water, everything, our whole living, man, is um, basically defiled under uh, Esau, man, under, you know, under these damn heathen man you know our people been being oppressed you know coming over here on cargo slave ships man you know and but now um esau so esau freed the chains so to speak the literal chains and he's put it on our on our people's minds man and they don't know what the hell's going on so they're bugged out man so the, the heavenly father has uh he actually has angels who's um, blinding the two-thirds, man, and who's opening the eyes of the one-third and the elect right now, you know? And that's what's happening right now. That's why you have camps all over the world, you know, whether they're in uh, London, you know, all throughout the states of America, here in Canada, you know, Winnipeg, Saskatchewan, here in Toronto as well. You know, uh, you have a brother in Brampton, you know, Jamaica, Mexico, and all these other states, man, our people is, um, you know, preaching this word in uh, Kenya. You have a whole bunch of Israelites over there in Kenya, man. 
you know and wherever man there's pops there's camps popping up every week man all over the world man in alaska hawaii you have camps all over the place man you know so this word's getting out there man it says uh this is what the heavenly father is telling the angels man and to the others he said in mine hearing go ye after him through the midst of the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have you pity who's the others the two-thirds man it says so what the heavenly father is telling the angel man slay utterly old and young both maids and little children so young women little infants babies you know these little um monsters who these menstruous women are having man these little babies kids man are gonna die man as well as the old and young people man women old women old men because you you old people aren't, aren't teaching the young generation shit you know all right you, you ain't teaching us shit man i don't care if it's your grandparents your great grandparents they haven't taught you nothing as um they haven't taught you any wisdom or knowledge man you know like you guys are the ones who who has this all fucked up too man you fucking old people man that's why the most is gonna take you guys out too man because you guys corrupted the the younger generation with um you know with this whole christianity shit and many other things man especially these fucking women man these you know these uh these these damn these little black girls they be listening to these old ass whores man oh you can it's okay if you uh if you're in your 20s and you just you, and you're just testing the waters you know you could do what you want in your 20s you know you could have as much men as you want until you find the right you know all these all these wicked ass fucking traditions man you're teaching our people that's why the heavenly father is gonna bring a whole lot of judgment on you women too man and you old you old ass whores out here man you know and and the, and the only place where you guys go or and uh, try hide or and cover up your little whoredom is in church man that you know says uh slay all the old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom it is a mark and begin at my sanctuary so that's what's going on man look what happened to bahamas man there's a whole beach there where the water the water got washed up man there's no water on the beach you know people's how people's homeless right now you know people's were uh rooted up from their house man people are literally blown away in the storm man you know there's all kinds of things going on there's so, so, um, some of these places are going to be without power for they're saying up to six months which could even be a year or two you people you so most that's going to cause all kind of plagues to come upon these places man famine death and destruction man then they began the ancient men which were before the house <laughs> who's the ancient man those were the people who were um, once in camps, you know, who, who were once in uh, Great Millstone or uh, in the old school back in the 80s and 90s who fell out the truth, went back into the world, you know, and um, became scoffers, man, who went back into the world and, and uh, forsook the cross, you know, for, uh, forsook bearing their cross, you know. You think the Lord's gonna come back and die for your ass again, man? So the Lord, the Lord's gonna cause you to die again. He's gonna cause you to be put to death because you put him to an open shame, man. Because you know, because that's in the scriptures, man. You know, because he, you know, because he's not gonna die for your ass again. He's gonna, he's gonna bring judgment upon you, man. <clears throat> then they began the ancient men which were before the house, and he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew in the city. So yeah, that's this is the time that we're living in, man. And right now, with all this destruction going on, you know, we know Esau could have his little hand in there with his harp and all that shit. But ultimately, it's the heavenly Father's judgment, man. He's bringing all these all these storms and stuff brewing up. And then Esau, he might 
use his little harp just to make it stronger. But the Heavenly Father, he puts it in their in their goddamn minds, man. You know. So ultimately, the is the heavenly the heavenly Father is the one who's bringing this death and destruction, man. He's orchestrating this thing, and it's only gonna get worse. You know, and I like to say, um, you know, ultimately, I like to say all praises to y'all, Bashima Ashai. You know, this was just through the Spirit. I didn't even plan on bringing this scripture up, but pretty much that sums up uh, what I wanted to bring up. You know, and this is the time that we're living in, man. You know, in the time, the time where judgment's gonna go forth. You know, and the elect is gonna be exempt from this judgment, man. You know, so um, with that, I like to say our praises to Yah Bashem Rashai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and love to the brothers out there, preaching and doing the work and sincerity and truth in Great Millstone. Those who other don't and the other brothers who is teaching the same doctrine as we're teaching the name, teaching about the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, who's teaching the right and sound doctrine, you know. Uh, all praise to Yahba Shim Yashai, you know, and uh Kwam Yasha Allah, and we're almost out of this bitch man. So with that I'd like to say shalom.